This is the um, combustion fan air motor that you may well be getting a problem with if you have certain fault codes come up. Now it's behind this plastic uh, cover here. It's relatively easy to swap out. Uh, what I tend to do is we have one in stock. I haven't actually, I've just got to order one. Um, I've run out, but we normally have one in stock. So to prove the point, what we generally do is take this one out and swap a new one in. And then you can, if the, obviously if the fault code goes straight away, then that's what it is. Uh, so to swap it out, uh, you pull this cover up and it's there. Now you can see, I've done this one on an older one. You can see the dust there. Now on very rare occasions, you will, see the dust? Yeah, you'll um, uh, be able to clean it and it might work, but that doesn't happen very often. You have to be a bit lucky with that. So to get to it, I'll show you the little screws here. Uh, you can see the little screws here. And then to undo them, you just have to have a little torque setting uh, like that. Okay, size, I can't see it's gone mouldy, but if you've got a torque setting, um, uh, a torque set, one of them will, will fit it. And then undo the, the torque screws. There's three. So you got one there, like that. And then one at the top. camera in the way. Another one there. Bit of a fiddle. Like that. Okay, now don't lose those. I think you might get new screws in the new one but haven't don't lose those screws don't drop it down there it's really annoying when you do that because uh, then you have to take the whole cover off to get it back out again so that's the fan coming out like that and you can see you can see it now there's a little catch there so pull that up and then that comes out like that and then you've got the fan out like that and normally it's this printed circuit board here that's the problem. And as you can see, it's quite dusty, so you can give that a blow out. Okay. <laughs> Get rid of all the dust. Uh, and then ordinarily you'd swap that out uh, and put a new one in, and then all being well, your fault code would disappear. Now these do fail fairly often, so if it does come up, then changing it out is more than likely going to replace, uh, going to solve the problem. There isn't actually anything wrong with this one, uh, so I should put it back in. <clears throat> so what we do is reverse the process. So put that in like that, and then put it in its little hole, and get one of the fittings in. Hold it in place. Where's me? Uh, hang on, there it is. what I said not to do. 
seeing a bit of a different angle. And then that goes in like that. Okay, so then everything should be okay, obviously if you fitted a new one. That's like that. Now, the hardest bit is getting this cover back on. It's an absolute devil to do. Um, it's really fiddly. Now there's two lugs at the bottom which you've got to kind of just catch at the bottom and then try and line it like that and then clip it in. Oh, that one went okay. Normally it takes me half an hour to do that. Um, so if you get frustrated with that, uh, don't worry, it is really annoying. So that's how to replace the, com uh, the uh, combustion air fan unit. Uh, and hopefully that will solve the problem that you've got with that code. Um, like I said, if, if you normally I would have one, a uh, spare one, and then just swap it out uh, before you uh, go any further with anything else. If, if that doesn't solve the fault, then it's probably the printed circuit board, uh, which is over there, under that cover there, which I'll probably do another video on on how to replace that. So there you go.